Thank you. Welcome to the Steve Jobs Theater. Now let's talk about iPhone. Well, the iPhone XS is not just one, but two sizes of display. The 5.8 inch and a new 6.5 inch Super Retina display. This is the biggest display ever on an iPhone. Now, a lot of our customers have loved the plus size iPhones, so let's put that side by side. You can see it's about the same size phone with a much larger display. So what do you call a phone that's bigger than plus size? Well, we call it the iPhone XS Max. And the Max is an incredible experience. There are two Super Retina displays now, 5.8 inch, 6.5 inch, both OLED displays, both a million to one contrast ratio. They're HDR displays. They have tap to wake. They have incredible color management. They're true tone displays, so the paper white looks just right in all the different lighting that you use it. And we've matched them to incredible sound systems as well. Stereo sound, better than in any iPhone to date. Now, with the XS, you get a wider stereo field. We told you last year the A11 Bionic could process an insane 600 billion operations per second. Well, the A12 Bionic is able to process five trillion operations per second. Now, the A12 Bionic is a complete system on a chip. There's memory controllers, storage controllers. The Apple designed storage controller and the A12 Bionic can now address twice as much internal storage as previously. So now you can up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage if you want. That's a half a terabyte on your iPhone in your pocket. That's enough for over 200,000 photos stored on your iPhone. It is incredible. It is a remarkable new dual camera system. It has a 12 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera, and an even more improved True Tone flash. That 12 megapixel wide camera has a new sensor, a larger sensor with bigger, deeper pixels. But increasingly, what makes incredible photos possible aren't just the sensor and the lens, but it's a chip and the software that runs on it. And this is so true with iPhone photography. In fact, when you take a photo, it's capable of doing a trillion operations on every photo you take. We have a brand new feature we call Smart HDR. So let's say you're taking a picture and the camera recognizes you're shooting a subject and the subject's moving. You go to press down on the shutter and you get a picture instantly. It's called zero shutter lag. What the A12 Bionic is actually doing is shooting a four frame buffer so it can capture that critical moment. But the A12 Bionic is doing even more than that. It's also capturing secondary interframes at the same time. And those interframes are shot at a different exposure level to bring out highlight details. And it's doing more than that. It's shooting a long exposure so it can get better shadow detail as well. And when you're taking that picture, it's analyzing all of those, finding out how to match up the best parts of each and merge them into one perfect photo. That's smart HDR. It is a breakthrough and it makes taking photos easier than ever and to get beautiful results. This is a breakthrough in photography for a smartphone. So when you take the picture with portrait mode and then you go into the Photos app and you tap Edit, you're going to see a new slider on the bottom. It says Depth. Right? Yeah, someone said no. Get ready for this <laughs> because, and then let me blow it up, you're going to have to watch two things at once. You're going to watch the depth and you're going to watch the background. You can, after taking the picture, adjust the depth of field from f1.4 to f16. And the background is changing with it. Let me, let's do that again. We're gonna slide the depth of field and watch the background as it changes the depth of field of your photo. This is done after you've taken it. This has not been possible in photography of any kind of camera. This is something that iPhone can now do with the power of the A12 Bionic chip. I mean, this is a new era of photography. One thing we've had requests for is dual SIM capability. Yeah. Well, some of you know what this is for, for the rest. Here are some reasons people want dual SIM. Some people want two phone numbers on their phone. There may be a home number and a work number. Some want two different plans depending on the region of the world they're in and what they need. And many of us like to travel and want to keep our local phone number but may need to get a data plan in the region we're in so we can have access to fast data there. To do this into iPhone XS and XS Max, we built a technology called DSDS, or dual SIM, dual standby. 
This means that you have both phone numbers there in your phone, waiting to get the call, which everyone gets, it becomes the active line. And the teams work to make sure in the software that the fact that you have two different phone numbers is understood, and you can name them home and work, primary, secondary, whatever. And then throughout the user experience, you'll see that a phone is call is coming in on a certain line, and you know how to deal with that. It is incredible. We are so excited to introduce you to the iPhone XR. And we hope it reaches even more customers with this amazing, incredible technology. This display is really what strikes you, though. It's an LCD display that, for the first time, goes edge to edge. This is the most advanced LCD ever in a smartphone. And it's so cool, we had to give it its own cool new name. It's called the Liquid Retina Display. It is a bigger display than the iPhone 8 Plus in a smaller design. The design actually fits perfectly between the size of an 8 and an 8 Plus. So we think it's going to make a lot of customers really happy. And it is an iPhone 10 experience on an LCD display, so that means you tap it to wake it up. There's no home button. You swipe up to go to the home screen, first for an LCD display. It has Face ID, and there's a True Depth camera system, the same True Depth camera system in iPhone XS and XS Max. And it has a great new camera system as well. It's a single camera system, our best single ca camera system that we've ever made. It's a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, the exact same wide angle camera in the XS and XS Max. So it's our new generation sensor that's larger with bigger pixels, and it takes beautiful photos. So this was taken from an iPhone XR. It is stunning. Incredible detail, beautiful tone mapping. There's probably something you've noticed about this photo, though. It's a portrait mode photo with that beautiful background blur, taken from a single camera system. This is remarkable. What the team is able to do is combine hardware and software to create a depth segmentation map using the focus pixels and neural net software so that we can create portrait mode photos on the brand new iPhone XR. Yes, it gets the same advanced bokeh technology we talked about with iPhone XS and XS Max. And it gets depth control dynamically after you've taken the picture. So all that breakthrough features and capabilities that you want are right here. This is a huge day for iPhone. We now have iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. Uh, thank you. Well, iPhone XR will come in six finishes and in three sizes. 64 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 256 gigabytes of storage. And it will start at $749. That's less expensive than the iPhone 8 Plus. Really proud of the work the team has done on that. You can order it in just over a month, October 19th, and it'll start to ship a week later than that, October 26th. iPhone XS will come in three configurations, 64 gigs, 256 gigs, and that new 512 gigabyte storage capacity. It starts at $999. An iPhone XS Max, same three configurations with its larger screen, larger battery, be just $100 more, starting at $1099. So iPhone XS and XS Max, you can start pre-ordering on Friday, September 14th, and they'll ship a week later, September 21st. We're thrilled by how much the Apple Watch has grown in such a short period of time. I mean, to think this category didn't even exist just a few years ago. And now, Apple Watch is being em embraced by so many people around the world. Apple Watch is not only the number one smartwatch in the world, it's the number one watch, period. Apple Watch Series 4 all starts with a stunning new display. We've pushed the screens right to the edges, and we've curved the corners to perfectly match the shape of the watch. And the screens are significantly larger. In fact, they're over 30% larger. Thank you. And we've done this with minimal changes to the case size. Series 4 is thinner, so there's actually less total volume than in Series 3. And you can customize it with the things you care about. Now, you can add loved ones to your watch face and simply tap to connect with them. 
Or if you're traveling, you can customize a watch face to track the different time zones. Or maybe you want to create the ultimate health and fitness watch. We've added electrodes into the back sapphire crystal and the digital crown, allowing you to take an electrocardiogram. It's, it's otherwise known as an ECG, and this is the first ECG product offered over-the-counter directly to consumers. An ECG measures the electrical activity of the heartbeat, and it's used by physicians to help diagnose uh, certain heart con diseases and, and other conditions. And so now you can take an ECG anytime, anywhere, right from your wrist. You just open the app and you put your finger on the digital crown. Apple Watch Series 4 with GPS starts at $399. Series 4 with cellular starts at $499. And we're keeping Series 3 in the line at more affordable prices starting at just $279. You can order Series 4 starting Friday, and it will be available the following Friday, September 21st. Series 3 at the new prices is available right after the show. And Watch OS 5, the most advanced wearable operating system, will be available on September 17th. At Apple, we're always pushing our products forward and making technology more personal. We hope that you love these new products as much as we do.